All right, day 111. 111 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. Put the camera on, we'll get going. In a little bit different part of the neighborhood today. I think it's, uh, I don't know, I'm officially in Lawndale, I think. Not really sure. I walked in Lawndale before. Definitely different than Manhattan Beach. <clears throat> the realtor told me. Uh, well, let me start the timer. Put in your guesses how long it'll take, how far I'll go. The realtor told me that Lawndale used to be uh, the place to live when it first uh, when they first started in the South Bay. Everybody wanted to live in Lawndale, and Manhattan Beach wasn't the place to be. I don't know if it was because it was closer to the highway or what, but Manhattan Beach is on the beach, so I don't know why, but that's what she said. A big dog there. It was German Shepherd, I think. Uh, but now, obviously, Manhattan Beach is the place to be. Well, there's an old uh, El Camino. I see a lot of El Caminos. That's from the 70s. It's like it's blue, I guess. It's kind of dusty and old. Not going in their driveway. It's kind of a different part of the neighborhood here. I wouldn't. You never know what might happen if you walk on somebody's property here. Not the bicycle or something. Look, he's got a carrier on the front. I don't know what he's got on that thing. Something. Uh, I walk up and down these streets and see. Sure, we're going to see some stuff interesting. Always see something interesting. You never know. <clears throat> A lot of people have dogs here. Seems like they got guard dogs. Interesting house. a little foo foo doggy. Well, <laughs> F100 truck looks like it's from the 70s, I guess. Wheels are better shaped than the truck. Ford 1F100 Ranger. Interesting. I think it's from the 70s. <clears throat> this house has got a lot of stuff going on here. Got an old Toyota truck. Coming up on the main drag up here. A lot of traffic up here, but I'm gonna do a turn and go back down. Maybe I'll just go down. Yeah, I guess I walk down at a block and I'm gonna cut back up the other street. Oh, here's an alley. There's no parking in the alley. There's a lot of people washing their cars. Look at all that. What's going on? I got some kind of old car here. I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a Camaro? Yeah, it's an old Camaro. I guess I'll take a look at that. I think it's from the late 60s, I guess. Ugh. Car shops always have it's a two Camaro 250. Man, definitely seen better days. I'd say it's from the 60s, I would guess. I don't really know. 68? Let me know if you know. Guess they're gonna redo it at some point. Yeah, a lot of people 
get the car washed today. Uh oh, here's a flat. He's trying to. Both of them are flats. That car's been there for a while. Four, three flats. I guess that car just sits there. Mercedes. Everybody wants to get their car washed on a Saturday. Free soap. Go down this street, see what's going on. There's a busy, busy four lane street. Nobody's on it. Look at that. Now, all the way down the street before you see any cars. Walk down here and see what we see. Stinky. Woof. Man, it smells like a sewer. Like a sewer hole. And still receive your kiss. Get across here. Another alley. The alleys around here. That car just got washed and he's going down an alley. Well, here's a pea green little car. I left some high heel shoes on the ground. Looks like they're brand new. What's going on with that? Just got tired of walking with the shoes or something. A pea green Chevy, some sort of leaf. I don't know. What is it? It's a spark. A little car, probably electric or something. There's a bike. What is this? It's a Harley Davidson 883. Yeah, that looks nice. I don't know if you've seen a Harley parked before. 883 Sportster. Harley Davidson. All right. Uh, French Bulldog back there, two of them. Uh, they definitely look like track homes from the 60s. And it looks like none of them have hardly been torn down <laughs> and rebuilt, which is different from a lot of the neighborhoods. They just look like the same type of houses. I don't know. I think they built them back here in the 60s for engineering. Uh, was it Northrop Grumman or something? Uh, another space place here, uh, engineering place. If it needed somewhere for all the engineers to live, they built all these one bedroom, two bedroom, one bath houses. And they're just track homes up and down, up and down. And I think all the engineers bought them and lived here. Can't remember the other name of that place. I think it's in Manhattan Beach. But, so this isn't that far. Now that's, oh, that's two houses. See, that one's been torn down, obviously, and they rebuilt a two on a lot, two, two townhomes. Well, I assume that's two. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure, but let's go see. They have another front door here. It's an awfully nice house here, just out of the blue all of a sudden. But I believe it's two. Yeah, here's another front door. Oh, uh, they're not connected. Just the same builder that they were connected with. Interesting, just all of a sudden. Definitely built in the last 10 years, I'd say, 15. All these other houses are 40, 50 years old. That one's got a brick chimney. It's not highly unusual. A brick chimney. Number one, most places don't have a chimney in South Bay. And number two, well, there were two, I guess they'd be brick, but you just don't see them. It's another, they got a door to nowhere. <laughs> Let's 
come out that it's just for show. This one's got a door to nowhere. Man, we've got like four condos right here. And this one's got a door to nowhere either. I don't know if that was the greatest architectural idea in the world. This might be from the 40s. Definitely from the 50s. Look at this. Man. Looks nice. We got like a like a bay window porch. Definitely two bedroom, one bath. Look how small it is. Looks like they may have added on to it, but at one time, could be from the 40s. Definitely from the 50s. Interesting. Actually they had a detached garage, which is unheard of. All garages are attached now. See, there's another little one, two bedroom, one bath, I'm sure, with a kitchen and a living room, and that's it. It's all from the, still probably half a million dollar house or more, probably more than that, 750,000. Yeah, well, we see any muscle cars. It's already been a half a mile, and I've seen zero. Better put the over under it one and a half. I haven't seen any, and halfway down, I forgot to label the over under. And here's a couple new one, newer ones. Yeah, every now and then, I guess they pop up, but 90% of the houses on this, in this area, are 50, 60 years old. See, that's definitely this century. <laughs> and now those, I guess those, I don't, that's interesting. Like they built a nice little community there, like their own little community. They have four houses, they got, uh, not vinyl, but wood siding, not stucco. So that must be from the 70s, I guess. Maybe older, 60s, 70s, nah, gotta be 70s. Got like an attic up there or something. Like walking down this street, it's like a walk back in time. Kind of weird. They got a whole yard. Look at that. <laughs> they wouldn't waste that much property nowadays. It's a nice house. They got enough room to build another house and they built the garage in front. That one too. Interesting. All from the 60s, I'd say. And this one looks like that same builder again from the 60s. It's very unique. People we'll walk back in time on these streets. Like every house in Manhattan Beach is $10 million. All these are like one bedroom, two bath. This house abuts the railroad track. It's on the other side of the tracks, so we could go. So, but I don't think I'll try and run that much on the weekends. But I don't think I can get through down there. It's not a through street, so I'm not going to walk down there. I'll walk down this. I can't even get through anywhere, so I'll walk over here and walk back up the street again. Walk back up this next street. I've never, I think I've ever even driven on these streets. It's not that far from the house. But it's definitely different. It's the most interesting thing so far. Well, I guess it's either the El Camino or the Han, or the uh, Harley Davidson motorcycle or Maybe just the architecture in general is kind of different. Interesting. I'm sure this street will be much of the same. Uh, we'll check it out. I'll walk up to the railroad tracks on this one. This, is, this one must be a through street. Doesn't say not a through street. There's a very forest green, I think it's an alpha. Yeah, you can get through here. Yeah, I think I'm going to walk up this way and then back. See what's going on up this street.
Or I guess I could. Nah, I'll do this. i walk this way. Ooh. Just please don't block drives. I'd say this house could be abandoned, but I'm not sure. Looks like nobody lives here. I don't know. I can say no. Uh oh, here comes some music. I better get away from the music. And I get a copyright from YouTube. Uh oh, that is hearing it. There's no way to get around it. I gotta keep talking loud. I have a faster I walk, maybe I can get away from it. And I hear music. I think it stopped. There we go. Oh, they got a brick chimney here too. Old house. Maybe they thought back in the day you needed a chimney. Oh, maybe it didn't have heat. No trespassing, keep out. Maybe that's why they had a chimney. Maybe it didn't have electric heat back then, or gas heat or nothing. I don't see a lot of houses with chimneys, just that's the second one with a brick chimney. This house is for sale. Wonder how much it is. It says don't disturb in escrow. It's not gonna find out. It's a second, no trespassing. Beware of dog. Oh boy. A lot of houses here that they don't want trespassing and they got a dog. And a guard dog, I guess. A German Shepherd. I heard one is barking at me. I didn't see it, but they had a picture of one, uh, beware of dog. So I'm guessing that it sounded like a German Shepherd, a big, big dog. It's a very, very sky blue house here. It's very beachy. And where's the front door? Oh, there's the front door. And you got a yellow house, another beachy color. Nice. Well, here's something I haven't seen before on the channel. It's a VW, <laughs> like an El Camino VW. <laughs> it's like a car, is it a truck? Is it a van or is it a car? Is it a van with a back? Hey, it's from the 60s. I don't, <laughs> it's like a van and a truck. It's got a bed in the back. I don't know what they call those. I've never seen one on the channel though. I've, oh yeah, this is uh, 60s. I don't know what it is, a Volkswagen of some sort, obviously. But I don't see they have a name for it. I'll walk around the other side of it. Oh, that's an orangey gal. Goldenrod. A couple of horses and stuff. But it doesn't have a name of what that is. Some kind of VW vehicle. There's a, over there, it's a pink or raspberry. Something or the other. I guess we'll walk up here because this guy's gonna be annoying. We almost did a mile. Kind of interesting. Oh, he lives there. Goodness. Let's go see what this pink thing is. The raspberry color. I don't know what it is. It's a BMW or something, but custom painted. We'll check it out. It is a Jaguar. Pink. A pink Jaguar. Oh, it's got a black front. Pink. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Like pink camouflage. Oh, and this side is black. Wow. Black matte. And this side is pink glossy. Well, that's interesting. I would have never guessed that. It's 
kind of a cool car over here. I don't know what it is. I've seen one muscle car. This may be number two. I think it's a, it's got a Mustang, I think. Or it may not be a Mustang, maybe a Shelby. 5.0, it is a Mustang. I mean, obviously most of these are Mustangs that look like Mustangs, but sometimes it's a Shelby and sometimes it's a Coyote and sometimes it's a uh, Sailor. Look at the rear mirror. Huh? Wow, I've never seen a rear like that before with those taillights. Never seen that, GT. It's a, well, I assume it's a Mustang. It's got the Mustang logo in the front. It says GT 5.0. It's got a Mustang and the Mustang logo in the front. So I assume it's a Mustang, but it doesn't say Mustang anywhere. But I have n never seen those taillights before on a Mustang. I don't know if it's custom or what. That's a very yellow house. I don't know. A little older but I don't know there's no bug 60 maybe three four and it's the same owner of the Mustang yes yeah, little tail light 63 4 63 2 let me know you know look at this house it's super yellow number two muscle car a very yellow house and right next to it, it's a very blue house. It looks like very well kept. It's kind of cool. And this is a very blue house. Oh, they got fake grass. I love it. Very homey. Welcome to our home. Oh, beautiful yellow roses out front. Nice. Nice little driveway. And <laughs> another El Camino. Goodness. How many El Caminos and Rancheros can I possibly see? People love them. I don't know, I'm not gonna be able to see this when they got a vinyl fence. They've probably been here since the 60s. Nope, not gonna see it. Nice, but it's an El Camino from the 60s or 70s, late 60s, early 70s. Yep, 71, 2. Wow, they're all in this little area. 72 Camino, El Camino, an old VW bus from the 60s. What was that, a pink Jaguar? Some type of GT, I guess it's a Mustang, I'm not sure. And a, a VW Bug from the 60s. All right here. And then down here, there's a, a Ford truck from the 60s. Two, uh, two old cars down here. Well, go check those out. Man, a lot of vintage cars on this street. It's a one block area. Should have come down here before. This is a, it's a Chevy truck from early 70s, late 60s, I guess. I'm not sure. Look at the taillights. Then there looks like another, I don't know, that's a Dodge Dart or something down there. Wow, this might be from the 60s. I think that's from the 60s. It's like they're getting ready to paint it, maybe. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> 71, I'd say. Maybe 70, 71. I don't know. I think I'm going to end this video on this one and uh, take up walk two with that second car there. I got to do 0.4. I'm going to start off with that second one. It's kind of interesting. So walk back up here. Into that, that mile. Got a Marine Corps. Thank you for your service. It's a salmon colored house. 
All right, that's a pretty interesting walk, I must say. Exceeded expectations. All right, if you like the video, put a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll put a link to another video you might like. This is the first walk of the day. Put, write down what do you think the most interesting thing you've seen on this walk, what you like the best. I'll try to hit more of that up. And uh, all right, that's it. You guessed 1.01 in 24 minutes and 54 seconds. You are the winner. Good guess. All right, I'm gonna start the second walk here put a link to a video you might like and that's it come back for walk two